Hello everybody. It is uh, the end of fabrication for day two. Uh, it's pretty much the end. Um, I haven't eaten yet and it's like 9 o'clock so I think I'm going to call it quits here and uh, go eat and I probably won't come down after that. But if I do I won't be doing much so I'm just going to tentatively call this the end of fabrication for day two. Um, let me show you what I got done and it's quite a lot. Uh, first I'm just going to give you Oops, a general overview of how the table looks. So you remember this was totally clean, you know, like yesterday. Completely clean yesterday. And now it's a mess. And this is all just the Vulcan project. And there's my uh, my second Vulcan, which is the guinea pig. There's the other side of the shell there. Oop, that's my 10% uh, battery warning. Uh, yeah. So, let me show you what I got the major things done. Uh, all the internal modification for this is pretty much finished. Uh, remove the air restrictors. Look, really drilled out uh, that you can see that hole in the back. Really drilled out air restrictor. Uh, new spring, lubed, and uh, I did something with this uh, to keep it back there. Oh yeah, I glued it to the uh, rotation mech. Now I have this 9 16 brass barrel coming out of here and uh, a funny coupler coming off the side. So, that's all that's been done to the main unit. So let's start with the less interesting of the two, which is the coupler. Now, in the original drawing, this was going to have exhaust pipes coming off it. So uh, I was literally just going to put a PV piece of PVC there and uh, just have that be the exhaust pipe on both sides. But I decided not to put it on this side because when I went around and uh, looked at it, how you'd actually be holding it, it'd be kind of unwieldy because this would be uh, coming up and potentially hitting you or getting in the ear way of the arm. So I decided just this side. So then I was going to do two pipes and I began cutting for that, but I didn't like the way that looked either. So I just put the one pipe on it, but that looked too plain and not exhaust enough, so I made this, which is uh, a one inch pipe with a drilled out coupler, a couple layered pipes, and a CPVC end piece. And I'm going to put this in here real quick. So that's what it looks like in the Vulcan. And I think that's pretty sick looking. It definitely looks like an exhaust port, and it does exactly what it's supposed to. It's entirely cosmetic, and uh, when the rest of this is on here, that will just look amazing, especially when it's painted. Let's get to the fun part. I built this front template, which I then put four screw holes in, which are uh, in the four corners, which meet up with screw holes on the Vulcan. One, two, three, four. Cut out a hole for the brass to go through and then uh, super glued and then hot glued the uh, normal barrel that goes in there. Then I have a second piece of polycarb glued to the bottom of this at a 90 degree angle which was done with uh, super glue at a 90 degree angle. Uh, then reinforced with hot glue which uh, I held it while the super glue dried. And then once both those were dry I reinforced the bottom with putty and the uh, those two sides with putty, those bigger sides came on after I put these yellow bars on which are super glued and then uh, hot glued on the top to support the super glue while it dried. So I'm going to screw that on and be taping that. So that's what it looks like when it's mounted on and it is quite, quite sick right now if I do say so myself. Even just like that. It is just freaking awesome. Let's get a side view on this. Oh yeah. That's just... Oh, it fits so well. And it really makes that exhaust pipe look more natural when you've got uh, extensions on the front. And the barrels, mind you, are going to be out to about here. So... Out to about there. It's gonna look so cool. So the uh, the screw the screw ports worked really well, and you can look straight down into the plunger. Now I've begun cutting out a template for the barrel spacer. I only cut out one of the barrels so far, 
And uh, this, I'm not going to be able to do with one hand, so give me a sec. Okay, so this is a barrel template, and uh, eventually, there's only one barrel cut out right now, but all six will be cut out soon. Uh, I ordered the barrels today, which are clear one-inch pet G barrels, which were really expensive. They were like six bucks a piece. And I need six of them, which is ridiculous, but whatever. Uh, they're a foot and a half long each, so they'll be pretty cool. When this fires, the uh, this disc rests tightly enough with the brass barrel that when the belt chain moves and the brass moves, this disc moves as well. Just like that. So I'll be cutting out a barrel for each disc movement. And I uh, misplaced it just a little bit. But um, that will, this one uh, won't be connected to it at all, but I'm going to have a second one out here and uh, put a piece of wood inside here. And the second one will physically screw into that. And uh, I haven't quite worked out the way I want to assemble the turret, but I've got a few ideas. So that's how that's going to work. Uh, what The way I built this is... And actually, let me pick this up and show you. Alright, so the way I built this, I wanted it to be able to be supported from the bottom so you could hold it like this. So this has to have a lot of weight bearing. Right now, it doesn't have as much as I'd like it to, so I'm going to give it a little more. Uh, it is holding under this, but running around, it might snap. So I'm going to give it some more weight bearing, uh, use some more epoxy putty on the corners here, I've got a couple things in mind. Uh, but right now, it's uh, very easy to hold here, and obviously the top bar will still be there. So this is mostly for cosmetics. But I do want it to be functional. So that's it for the uh, progress on day two. Let me see if I can get this uploaded tonight. And thanks for watching. See you guys next video.